Hi and welcome to another Dollar Tree Grab video. As usual, uh, there you have the subliminals. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Grab this one. Hunger. Have no idea what it is about. In the back. Um, this one. I already saw peppermint uh, grab this. And I actually saw in the in the Dollar Trees a bunch of the ones that uh, the peppermint grabbed. But I just, you know, I couldn't grab a lot this time around, so I just grabbed the, the few that, you know, that I thought might be interesting. There you go. But basically, all the ones that he covered, I did see them. Uh, this one looks like one of these uh, Chinese fantasy adventures. not much into these new ones to be honest with you but I grabbed it because you know maybe spectacular who knows here we have uh, Roger Corman uh, presents or whatever uh, Dino Croc and I thought hey you know if it's Roger Corman it's probably good it's back Here we have uh, Hobo. I don't know if I had shown this one last time with a slipcase and everything. Hobo with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Roger Howard. What can I say? You give a hobo a shotgun, he's gonna do something with it. I saw this one, figured A. It has three things in it, so you know, probably entertaining. At least one of them might be good, I think. A long time ago, I saw that midnight movie one. Here's the back. Alright. Also, this and figure has some uh, entertainment value. David Blaine. I remember sometime back I picked up some uh, Chris Angel. And then he's a pretty good uh, street comedian. Hopefully, this is the same uh, David Blaine and it ain't some other dude, you know, with that name doing some kind of. Uh, this looked interesting. Well, I don't know how good it's going to be because it's you know, spaghetti westerns which are usually really good and it's this one right here put it in the back but again I don't know much about it so that's all I, I have on this um, next I've seen a lot of people pick this up somebody said it was good so I saw the blu-ray of it so I'm like oh might as well Grab it just to check it out. So there you have it, Big Bad Wolf. Some people are just pulling evil, and this looks like a Steve Carell there, but I'm not sure. And here, I got this one because I saw that it had, you know, both the Blu-ray and the DVD, and so it may be interesting. Is this dude right here with a serious uh, skin condition? Apparently, some Nazi zombies. Here's the back. But again, just because it looks good, don't mean it's gonna be good. The cover art may be attractive, but it may turn out to be a piece of crap. And this one right here. So I think it's probably the first time that I've seen it on. Blu-ray and grabbed it. Maybe I did see it on Blu-ray before, but I never grabbed it. 
and later I regretted it so I saw it again right now and I I grabbed it but it's destined to be from the new batch this I was glad to see because these movies I do find uh, entertaining you know? right here Dirty Harry here's the back um, I forget what the director of this is maybe Bob Siegel or something Siegel anyways uh, I think Don Siegel I believe I, I think he's a really good director you know this movie's really short uh, quality well back then I guess you know you had to be a good director to work for a big studio uh, here we have the Road Warrior which uh, many people now you know, try to emulate by getting angry on the road because the other guy passes them and they go uh, to war quite stupid here you have uh, that guy there I don't get it what he wears a mask and then he doesn't wear clothes on the rest of his body you know especially under the searing sun but that's what uh, radiation does to you here we have this one which I've been meaning to grab Carrie with that fancy uh, art that people say it's a Walmart exclusive and we have the back there with her mama and she launched all the knives at and that's about it so there you have it there's the the pile Subliminals again. And over here. Subscribe. Hit like. So you can get uh, be notified of the new updates. Show some support. And that's about it.